controlling water and watercolor is really, really important. It's kind of the fundamental. It's the thing that we have to do in order to master watercolor. First one, moisture levels in your environment, right? Second one, type of paper you're using. And the third one is when do you add the paint to the water that's already on your page? So the first and major thing to consider when understanding how to control water is how much humidity is in your air. If it's a drier season and the air humidity levels are lower in your home, then or the room you're working or the outdoors where you're painting, then the water that you put on your paper is going to evaporate faster. Now the second thing to remember, the second really important thing is what kind of paper are you using? I tend to paint with really heavy paper. This is useful and very helpful when I'm painting and I don't want the paper to warp on me, but that doesn't mean that you can't paint with very thin paper. In fact, I have a tutorial on crappy paper, should we paint with it or not. But when dealing with water and controlling the water, the paper you use is going to make a huge difference. The paper, thick paper, is kind of like using uh, a, a kitchen towel or a paper towel roll where you put a drop of water on that and it all gets absorbed. So the thicker or the heavier your paper is, the more water it's going to take in. And this will definitely affect how your water flows on your page because your water, you're going to you know, put it down, make a nice big pool, but then if your paper is sucking that water in and you start at the top and you're laying down your beautiful wash and it's all going really Really wonderful and you get to the end and you realize that half of the water that you were gonna put your paint into has all dried up well there you go you're gonna have marks you're gonna have lines you're gonna have raw edges it's not gonna work the way you want it to on the other hand you might use exactly the same paper this is back to tip one you might use exactly the same paper but you're doing it in a high humid situation like the middle of summer, in the tropics, in your greenhouse, and you put down the same amount of water and you put your paint on top and it doesn't evaporate and your wash looks beautiful. So those are two really, really, really important things. The other thing is when you put your water on your paper, at what point do you add your paint? The moment you put the paint in the water, it's going to affect everything. If you put the paint in the water too fast, it's going to move all over the place. If you wait until the perfect shine, you're going to have, I mean, it's really hard to describe. I have to kind of show you, but it's going to look amazing. And if you wait too long and the water has gone down or it has been absorbed or evaporated, absorbed into the paper or evaporated, your water won't flow. I hope that this helps to kind of clear up the issues that you guys have been having a little bit. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, subscribe, all that great thing, all those good things. I have so many videos. We are well into the 150 or so now, I think. We've got so many. Let me know in the comments below what you struggle with and what you need help with. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Ta -da.